Hey, wildlife enthusiasts! Welcome to the striking chameleon. The animal world is full of interesting and unexpected food habits. While most organisms stick to traditional diets, some organisms have developed bizarre and unconventional ways to obtain their nutrition. From insect-devouring plants to cannibalistic animals, these unique feeding habits offer a glimpse into the animal kingdom's diverse and often surprising strategies for survival and nutrition. Today's video explores some of nature's most intriguing examples of animals with unusual feeding habits, exhibiting remarkable adaptations and behaviors that have evolved to meet their dietary needs. It's about table manners in the animal kingdom. Animals feasting like kings, stuffing their faces or making their own medicine. When something tastes good, our eyes light up, we eat every last bit and even ask for seconds. But we can get a little nervous. There are a thousand reasons why something is not good to eat, especially if we are not hungry. These fries aren't crispy, this Coke is flat, this ice cream tastes too good. Animals are not much different. Some will eat anything they come across, no matter how it tastes. Other animals are more nervous than us. Let's dive in. In an amazing display of botanical tricks, some plants have evolved as carnivores. Carnivorous plants that have adapted to grow in nutrient poo environments rely on capturing and digesting insects to supplement their diet. For example, the Venus flytrap has specialized leaves that close when triggered by contact. Once trapped, the plant secretes digestive enzymes to break down its prey, absorbing nutrients from the disintegrating insects. Similarly, the pitcher plant attracts insects into its deeply grooved pitch-shaped leaves filled with digestive fluids. Koalas eat eucalyptus leaves. They eat many pounds every day. But eucalyptus is not always the same. Koala accepts about 12 of the 300 species of eucalyptus. Like a fine wine connoisseur, it will turn its nose up at lower quality leaves. Whether the leaves meet the quality standards of cola depends on the time of year, the region, and the mood of the tree. Eucalyptus trees produce a repellent to deter animals from eating their leaves. Except for bees, it is impossible to talk about animal feeding habits. You know very well that this is the only insect that produces food for humans, and the only reason they are called worker bees. Striped bees work in the field collecting nectar from the flower and returning to their hive to begin turning the raw nectar into honey. This transformation takes time, and since they have to eat for sustenance, they drink the nectar and regurgitate it again and again. Spiders have long been known for their exceptional silk spinning skills, using their webs to ensnare unsuspecting prey. However, some spider species use unusual hunting techniques beyond normal web building. For example, the bowler's spider releases sticky silk threads with water droplets at its ends, mimicking the pheromones of specific moth species. When a male moth approaches us, mistaking the silk thread for a female moth, the bowler's spider quickly engulfs it and delivers a venomous bite. This deceptive hunting strategy demonstrates the spider's remarkable ability to lure its prey and strike with precision and cunning from its ambush. Egyptian Vultures you will be surprised to know that this bird has no sense of smell, so they rely on their sight to hunt. But they have a very interesting style of feeding themselves. As they are known to eat fruits and vegetables, they are even known to eat feces. They have a special technique of hatching eggs and are the only bird that eats eggs. Ostrich eggs are their favorite. But an ostrich egg is very large. Therefore, instead of breaking the eggs, they throw stones to break the eggs and eat them. Burying beetles are named because of their food processing method. You will hardly find another animal that follows the same method of preserving its food. Just as we refrigerate our food to make it last longer, these insects use their preservation method to keep food fresh without bacteria growth. When these beetles find a dead bird or rodent, they prepare food for their young. They coat the entire dead animal with oral secretions that are bactericidal and consequently slow down the decay process. Then they dig a hole and line the area with the dead animal's fur, put the safe animal in the grave, and build a nest for the young next to it where it is easy for the larvae to eat. 
This entire preservation takes about eight hours. Unlike typical herbivorous sea anemones, Venus flytrap sea anemones have adopted a carnivorous lifestyle. Found in the deep ocean, this mysterious creature catches small fish and crustaceans using specialized tentacles equipped with stinging cells. When prey brushes against these tentacles, they release toxins to immobilize the victim, which is then carried to the anemone's mouth for consumption. The unique predatory behavior of the Venus flytrapsi anemone is a prime example of how even sedentary creatures can develop unusual adaptations to exploit specific niches and food sources in their environment. Giant Anteater You've seen this amazing creature eating ants from trees. But eating ants is not as easy as it seems. After opening a tree trunk, ants are dangerous and always ready to fight with anyone, so they must respond quickly to eat. So they use their long jaws to collect their food and their saliva acts as glue. But ants don't have teeth, instead, they have hard growths inside their mouths that act as food processors. Thousands of ants can be eaten in minutes. Red Squirrel In other words, you have to say that this animal is intelligent and not inferior to humans. During the summer, the red squirrel begins to collect nuts and grains to store them for the whole year. In winter there is a shortage of food, and in summertime all the food is collected and kept for winter. Although they have a shortage of food in the winter, they drill holes in the maple tree and wait for maple syrup to fall from the center. They are truly devoted foodies. The northern shrike is a songbird native to southern Canada and the northern United States. The most interesting thing about them is that they hunt for insects or small vertebrates and stick to plant spines, barbed wire, or even fun stalks. This is because they can only eat the parts they want. So it helps them to eat their prey in small portions and keep them coming back for more. They even sting some poisonous insects and wait for several days to dry all the poison from their body. Leaf cutter ants. This ant species is the only ant species that differs from other ants in its feeding habits. Some scientists call them farmer ants. They are known to grow their crops. They use their mandible-like scissors to cut the leaves of plants. The leaf clippings are taken back to their homes where these leaf clippings are piled up and turned into compost. They add their saliva to the pile and it acts as a fertilizer for fungal growth. They then use the fungus to feed the larvae. Cannibalism, a phenomenon usually associated with horror stories, is not uncommon in the animal kingdom. Some species, especially insects and amphibians, resort to eating members of their kind under specific circumstances. For example, mantises, after mating, often consume their mate as a source of nutrition. This behavior benefits the female mantis by providing essential nutrients for egg development. In conclusion, animals with unusual feeding habits, from carnivorous plants to cannibals, demonstrate the incredible diversity and adaptability of life on Earth. These unique feeding strategies provide a glimpse into a complex web of predator-prey interactions and underscore nature's ingenuity in finding unique solutions for survival. From plants that became predators to animals that turned on their kind, these unusual eating habits challenge our preconceived notions about how organisms get their nutrition. Exploring these unusual adaptations provides a deep appreciation for the complexity of the natural world and the surprising ways animals have evolved to thrive in their environments. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to watch more videos like this. Do like, comment, and share the video with your friends. Thank you for watching.